Hi, it's Doug Leonard with Patch of the Week, and this week I want to show you some other ways to do uh, rhythmic divisions and pitch divisions, uh, just like I'd shown you recently using the envelope generator, but this time I'm going to use the sequencer. It's an eight-stage gate-out sequencer. I have a special modification made here. It's a multi-position switch that if I point it at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is when it's going to reset. And that's exactly what this whole patch concept is about, is how you use that reset. So let's start. This is the master clock. It's an LFO, square wave output, triggering the sequencer. We're going to be hearing both this clock as well as the divisions of it, which are the output of this sequencer. So I'm going to point this now at 2 o'clock, which means we're going to divide this by 2. You can hear that, the higher pitched percussion thing is the division, the lower one is the master. So if I now point this at 3 o'clock, we're going to divide it by 3. You can see it corresponding here in the LEDs. Five. And so on. So now we're dividing it by eight. So you can get great polyrhythms that way as well. And in fact, I have two of these, so I could easily be taking the same pulse and clocking this and having two different rhythms going. I think you can imagine that. I'm not going to worry about it now. But here's what I am going to do. I'm going to take this up in the audio range and show you what happens up there. frequency, it's, it's now going to be an octave lower. And as I change where it resets, we're going to again divide this by the step or the stage of the sequencer. So you can use that in a lot of ways. Uh, one of the most typical things to, to do with it would be to use it as a uh, sub-oscillator. And um, there you go. Ways to do pulse and frequency division with a search sequencer. Patch of the week.